So lower is better, has turned into least is the best when it comes to LDLC. So what are the guidelines recommended? As our honorable professor, I mean Halishwar has already mentioned about different guidelines. Here we are emphasizing on European Society of Cardiology, the ESC and PAS, European Health Society. Anyone include their disciplinary guidelines in 2019, they have recommended some LDLC goals which are very stringent. As you can see here, for highest patient, the goal is less than 70 mg per deciliter. For very highest patient, it is less than 55 mg per deciliter. And for patients with ACVD who experience a second vascular event, within two years of the first vascular event, it may be same, it may be different. So for them, the LDLC goal is less than 40 mg per deciliter. And in all the cases, the baseline of the LDLC reduction has to be more than 50%. So as you can see here, doctor, the LDLC goal has been narrowed down very much according to the latest guideline of this dyslipidemia management. So coming from that, who are these high-risk patients or very high-risk patients we are talking about? These patients are very much available in your department in cardiology. So high-risk patients are those without any known ACVD or without other risk factors. For example, they can have marked elevated single risk factors. It may be high BP, it may be high total cholesterol. Patients with diabetes mellitus without any target organ damage and with moderate thickening. And on the other hand, the very high risk patients are patients with familial hypercholesterolemia or epithelmino and ACVD or any another major risk factor. Uh, they might have documented ACVD, they might have diabetes mellitus with target organ damage, and they might have premier TK. So these are the very high risk or high risk patients we are talking about or as the guidelines are recommended. So if we sum up the guidelines, uh, the ESC or TAS, according to class 1, for secondary prevention, if the goal is not achieved after maximally tolerated dose of statin, so it means the patient is already taking statin, and if uh, the patient is taking maximum tolerated dose of statin, even if after that the LDLC goal is not reached, they are recommending to add ezetimibe. According to class 2B as well, for primary prevention, if the LDLC goal is not achieved, despite taking the maximum tolerated dose of statin, they are recommending to add ezetimibe as well. So coming from that, Vexilco Pharma proudly introduces, introduces from the first time in Bangladesh, to achieve top LDLC goals, as we have said, in these high risk and very high risk patients for heart attack and stroke, our Atova EV, which is the preparation of Atova statin and Isidine, and it is available in 10 by 10 and 20 by 10 milligrams. And as we like to say, added power for achieving more. So we would like to add the power of Atova statin and Isidine to achieve the top LDLC goals. So coming from that, when we are adding Isidine to Atova statin. It gives a complementary mechanism of action to so treat two sources of LDLC, working in the liver and the digestive tract. So as we all know, we are doctors know very well about the atrova statin, which is a statin which is agent to poor reductive enzyme inhibitor working in the liver and it inhibits the cholesterol, of the, uh, cholesterol production. And on the other hand, ezetimibe, it reduces the cholesterol by inhibiting the absorption of cholesterol in the digestive tract or the gut and So it ensures further reduction in LDLC and maximizes the benefits. And if we come to the efficacy part, if we add legitimate to atrova statin, it offers powerful management of all lipid parameters, may it be LDLC, may it be TG, may it be TC. So it ensures more than 50% LDLC reduction even at the lowest dose, as I've mentioned now. And lastly, about the cardiovascular outcome, it offers improved cardiovascular outcome. Dear doctors, you know, atrovastatin is blessed with the cardiovascular proven protection. So according to CARDS and ASCOT LNA trials, it really, uh, reduces the reduction of stroke and MI. So it gives proven cardio protection with the convenience of one daily dosing. So this is the sum up. It ensures 50%, more than 50% of LDLC reduction proven cardio protection with uh, convenience of simple one daily dosing. So as we like to say, simplified regimen gives you the amplified outcome. So thank you all so much. Uh, use heart for every heart. Thank you so much for patient hearing. Thank you.